Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Mas and I will be presenting our work on deepfakes detection with automatic phase weighting. This work has been sponsored by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and the Air Force Research Laboratory. Please carefully look at the disclaimer of this presentation. Altered multimedia is increasingly present and widely distributed via social media platforms. Face manipulation, including identity and expression manipulation, can be generated using deep learning techniques, such as generative adversarial networks and autoencoders. In this work, we focus on the detection of such manipulations, usually referred to as deepfakes. In this work, we use the Deepfake Detection Challenge dataset. This dataset contains over 100,000 videos with ground truth labels, indicating if the video is real or if it has a manipulation. The videos include highly realistic manipulations within faces and within the audio track. Additionally, the competition provides an evaluation system and a public leaderboard. This is our proposed method. Our system has the following steps. First, we detect faces using MTCNN. Then, we crop the regions where faces have been detected and we extract features using a fission net. The extracted features are used to predict logits and weights that are combined in the layer that we name automatic phase weighting. Finally, a gated recovery unit is used to obtain the final prediction. MTCNN is a multitask cascaded three stage architecture that can produce both phase bounding boxes and facial landmarks. This system generates an image pyramid by resizing the input image to different scales. Then, this image pyramid is processed through three different stages. At each stage, a different subnetwork is used to refine the estimate from the previous stage. After processing the input frames with MTCNN, we crop the regions where faces have been detected and resize them to 224 by 224 pixels. Then, a fission net is used to extract features within those regions. The fission net is a neural network that has been designed using neural architecture search techniques, obtaining both a compact and accurate network. The fission net is trained using additive angular margin loss, also known as arc phase loss. This loss reduces the intra class difference and enlarges the inter class difference between the learned classification features, allowing for a better discrimination between real and fake faces. The extracted features are used to predict a logit and a weight or a confidence score for each phase region within every input frame. Then, the probability of a video being false is estimated by performing a weighted average of the logits and then applying a softmax layer. This allows us to obtain a prediction on a video level by using features from multiple phase regions and multiple frames. Finally, we use a gated recurring unit. Gated recurring units are a type of recurrent neural networks that can, that can capture temporal information from short and long sequences. In this work, our gated recurring unit has as input the extracted features from a fission net and the logits, weights, and the prediction of the automatic phase weighting layer. We train and evaluate our method with the deepfake detection challenge dataset previously described. We use the videos that have ground truth labels. Specifically, we use 80% of the videos for training, 10% of the videos for validation, and 10% of the videos for testing. In the table at the bottom, we can see the balance accuracy of our method and previous works. As we can see, our method outperforms previously presented methods and obtains a total of 91% accuracy on the testing set. Additionally, we obtain a score of 0.321 log likelihood error in the public leaderboard of the competition, which places in a position of 117 of the 2,275 teams, which is within the top 6%. If you have any question about this presentation, please use the contact email. Thank you for your attention.